हाय एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इशू एसीसीए क्लासेस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग द वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन दैट माय वीवर हैज बीन आस्क्ड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द सेम आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल शेयर द लिंक यू विल गेट ब्लिंक ओवर योर स्क्रीन एट द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो सो in this uh, uh, video we will be discussing the question along with the if any concept required so let's start the today uh, video so basically the question he asked is sterling from sbr co plan kit and uh, i had just screenshot the question and the requirement c has having it c have it out so uh, let's read the scenario then come to the requirement then we will get back to our answer so here the question is uh, uh, scenario is that sterling company paid 25 million for 40% of berthold company 10 million dollar one ordinary ordinary shares on 1st january 20x7 when berthold company retained earning were 18 million this is the important uh, uh, till date what we learned that sterling company has paid 25 million to acquire 40% of a uh, berthold company 10 million share so and its share value is dollar one per shares and when it was on 4th january 20x7 one more thing just look for the date in the group question it's very important whether they have been acquired or disposed of or further any share has been acquired so just look for the date in case of group question and at the date of acquisition berthold retain earning were 18 million and berthold company has no other reserve means apart from the returning retain earning it doesn't have any of the reserve sterling company exercise significant influence over berthold company financial and operating policy decision so now question is very straightforward as i uh, as i discussed in my previous video uh, let me share the screen of the same yeah this one as i said when one company acquire other company we come to know that one company uh, we need to prepare consolidation but it is not this case but we need to consider the acquiring percentage as well if we look to our current situation the percentage acquired by sterling company is 40% which is below 50% right to have a control what i said first we need to check it out the percentage even though it's below or above if it is above then you can uh, assess the criteria and in case sometime in case of below 50 percent the uh, holding the criteria is still met then we need to again check it out the condition or criteria that we require to have a control So here if we talk uh, about the holding percentage it's 40% so we can see it might be associated why because the holding percentage acquired is between 20 to 50% and i had mentioned in the slide as well about this let me check it out yeah so now uh, if um, Holding is more than twenty percent, or but less than fifty percent, and we can say associate. But associate, we need to have a significant influence. And the question already says that they are having significant influence, so we don't need to assess the condition or the or the. Um, we need to look for the hint uh, that will uh, confirm that company is exercising a significant influence over the birth hold. right so here question already told that the sterling company exercise significant influence over the berthold Bar company financial operating uh, financial and operating policy decision right so we can say it's associate we are 100% sure now because the question already confirmed the percentage and also mentioned the sentence right if further 35% of stake in the birth hold was acquired on 1st december 20x8 for 41 million when the fair value of birth hold company identifiable net assets was 55.3 million and birth hold company retained earning were 42.3 million the difference between the fair value identifiable uh, 
assets and liability of Berthold Company and the carrying amount related to non depreciation land. The market price of the Berthold Company shares immediately prior to the 101 December 20x8 is 9.20 per share. Sterling Company major non controlling interest at the fair value at the date of acquisition. Goodwill at 31st March is not impaired. Berthold Company reported profit for the year in 31st March 20x9 is 11.1 million. Now we got a lot of information from this paragraph. The one I got to know is that the Sterling company acquires more 35 percent uh, holding uh, in the Berthold. So now they are having all together 75 percent of share holding. So now you might be thinking it's more than 50 percent. So they might have been up to uh, obtain a control. So do we need look? Uh, do we need to look for the hints of the control? Because if we read the question furthermore, they have given everything that will confirm that the company is having control over the Berthold. Right. So one thing, uh, if this is a step acquisition. I got to know. Other thing, we do, uh, as I discussed in my previous video, that we need to perform a five calculation. And the question won't ask the five cal calculation in the one, but they might ask any of the step to calculate. But here you can see they have already calculated the identifiable asset at the acquisition, and they also confirm the difference between the acquisition and reporting date is due to the non depreciable land, and they have provided a market value of the shares, non control interest and they also mentioned that goodwill has not been uh, impaired right and one more thing the Berthold company year in the was 31st March 20x9 okay and I think the sterling company uh, year in the same you can see here the question what the requirement is explain how Berthold company will be accounted for including calculation so the question uh, clearly says we need to include a calculation as well. In a sterling company consolidated a statement of fine, a profit or loss for the year in 31st March 20x9. So let's first deal to the part one of the question. So reading the scenario, let me recap. So what is happening? There is two company. One is sterling company, other one is Berthold, and the sterling company has acquired 40% of the Berthold as on 1st January 20x7. The amount they have given, no issues, and they have also given the return earning, and uh, there are no reserves. So Till this paragraph, we are very sure that it's associate. We need to apply IAS 28. But after reading the further paragraph, we got to know that more share has been acquired, which lead to the step acquisition means the control has been uh, obtained at particular stage of the acquisition of the shares. Right? And they have uh, ready made given us the identifiable assets, liability value, and uh, they also told us the difference between the fair value of identifiable assets and liability at reporting and the financial uh, acquisition date is due to the non-repressible land and they has given the profit and they also told that it's not impairment goodwill is not impaired right but in the question while reading the requirement read it two times you will uh, know very things uh, i mean very uh, sometimes what happens while reading in the flow we miss out something here you can see the question only asks to how this will be created right so in in what in consolidated profit and loss not in the consolidated st statement of financial position okay lots of students do this mistake they might be in hurry they read it out at sop and they explain the calculation and the things of sop which for which you will not get the credit be careful so again and they also ask for the calculation if we will, if you don't show the calculation they will not uh, allocate the mark for the same Okay, so be careful while reading the scenario as well as requirement and read the requirement twice. You will got to know what exactly question is asking from us in order from us in order to get the credit of the marks, right? Okay, so let's start from the first paragraph. So, uh, in order to in order to save the time, I had already gone through this question and done uh, some walking roughly to have uh, to provide you gu guidance how to deal this kind of question. Right. So first, uh, let's start from the treatment before uh, acquisition of additional stake. Means uh, before this one. Uh, let's. Uh, uh, account and explain the things for the first paragraph. So, uh, 
we got to know very pretty sure this is the associate right so what in sbr first try to explain the standard or the key concept behind the calculation or the things that you are going to do right so here we need to first explain why this is associate why we have uh, accounting this uh, 40% stake as associate right so that's why i have what i have uh, written here an entity over which investor has a significant influence sorry um i think i have something this still a bit so what i mean to say is an associate is an entity over uh, which investor has a significant influence okay an investor is considered to have a significant influence over investor when it has power to participate in the financial and operating policy decision of investor but not control or joint control and significant influence is also presumed when investor has 20 to 50% of voting power so this is the as per the standard as per the bookish knowledge or the concept we can say behind the things so we have to explain this first so now let's apply this to our particular scenario so we can say from um on on first january 20x7 sterling company acquired 40 percent of the shares which is in between 20 to 50 percent of voting power so which which will lead to conclude that the sterling will has a uh, sterling company has a significant influence over both financial operating and policy decisions so start uh birth hold company will be accounted as an associate we will write this much thing i have not written you can write it by your own okay so now here uh and from one and uh, one more thing you can see uh on 1st december 20x said uh, sterling has acquired more share so till one uh, i mean from 1 january 20x7 till 1st december 20x8 or 30 november 20x8 sterling company uh, will uh, sterling company has been holding 40% of shareholding of what whole company so with a significant influence so it will be accounted as an associate and under the equity accounting method so i hope you guys are familiar with the equity accounting method okay so here you can uh, see i have written the definition and now this is for the that we have identified the associate and how we will treat it right treat it in the books of account now the question is asking how it will be shown in the consolidated statement of profit or loss so as we know in case of associate what we used to do do we add to add one line item and where we will show the share of parent profit in the associate and we need to do calculation for the same and here i have done for this uh, for you so from 1 april to 30 november it's eight month april may june july august september october november so we will take eight month profit of birth hold and uh, that's uh, seven 0.4 million and if we will take a sterling company uh shares it's a 40 percent so 40 percent of 7.4 million it's 2.96 million so investment in uh investment shares of profit 2.96 million is included in the consolidated statement of profit or loss for the period uh before 1 december 20 exit so before doing this calculation you need to explain how it will be accounted in the profit and loss so here here i have been explained the same that associates are accounted for using the equity method in the group profit or loss meaning that the group will include a single line entry representing its shares of associates profit after tax and time a portion is applied where relevant so i have just explained roughly you can draft it in your own language but the concept is same right so this is for the pnl right now from 1 december 20x8 sterling company acquired further more share that's a 35 percent right so treatment after 1st december 20x8 so one more thing i would like to say please try to uh differentiate the paragraph like i did this treatment after 1 december 20x and treatment before acquisition of additional shares so it is will help examiner to identify you are explaining this part for this and this they can allocate the marks accordingly right so here what i had uh, explained roughly on december 1st the four months before the reporting date 
the year in is 31st march right and uh, on 1 december they have acquired additional shares so which is four months before reporting date so sterling acquired an additional 35 percent stake in the b b means birth hold gaining control and making b as a subsidiary the nci in the b is 25 percent so basically what i mean to say is you can write it like this like a so on uh, 1st December 20x8, uh, Sterling Company acquired further 35% uh, shareholding in the birth hold, leading to the total uh, shareholding of 75% right so this means uh, which is more than 50 percent and as these are voting rights so uh, sterling has gained control over the birth hole that means b uh, birth hole is a subsidiary and the remaining 25 percent is uh, hold by the nci non-controlling interest right so here the this uh, now what we will do this is for the like uh, uh for getting the control we have explained so now what we will do after having a control so uh, according to the standard where i have been noted out something where that according to standard so this result of the final month will be accounted for using the acquisition accounting with full line by line consolidation on time apportioned basis so this is a step acquisition requiring the carrying carrying value of the initial investment to be remeasured at the fair value of under ifrs3 uh, with any resulting gain uh, recognized in the group profit or loss so what you can write here um, means for the treatment after 1 December 20 exit as I mentioned that 35% uh, additional share has been acquired by the sterling so so leading to the total share holding in the birth hole of 75% which is more than 50% 50 per, uh, 50 so having more than 50% uh, of voting share in the other company will lead to the um, uh, gaining control uh, in birth hole uh, by whom sterling right so B is a birth hold is now considered to be a subsidiary so a remaining 25 percent is hold by nci so this is the step acquisition you can say like this and so in case of step acquisition so uh, ifrs3 requires the re, uh, remaining uh, i mean um uh, remaining holding fair value to re remeasure at the fair value means remaining 14 per 40 percent that is hold by the sterling earlier should be remeasured at the fair value and any gain and loss should be recognized in the group profit and loss you can write like this okay on acquiring additional 35 percent stake bringing total ownership of 75 percent sterling company gain a control on the birth hold company from this date onward birth hold company is consolidated as a subsidiary under the ifrs 10 so this is simple and i have been uh, written down okay so now we have to measure the fair value and the question asks for the calculation as well so fair value of 40 percent investment as in first december 20x it is 40 percent into the uh birth hold has 10 million share and in question they also mentioned that the fair value of the share as on first december is 9.20 giving the fair value of 36.8 million and we need to also calculate the carrying value of investment under equity accounting method so initially they have invested 25 million and we need to also add the parent share of profit in the associate so i had uh, just break down this figure um here it is so 25 plus 40 percent into 42.3 minus 18 so as in the question uh the asset profit has not given but the retained earning for the acquisition and uh, uh for the um uh for the uh, uh Initial acquisition of 40% and the additional 35% acquisition date, return of earning has already given. So I had done for you here, you can see. So this will give 9.72 million adding to 25 million will give the 34.72 million of carrying value of investment under equity so difference of these two is the gain which we need to be record in the group profit or loss right so this is for the um, treatment of uh, uh, additional shares okay and uh, in case of a step acquisition okay and one more thing that you need to write it down so uh, the answer uh, is uh, uh, like uh, as uh, this is for the like uh, we have done uh, revaluation of the initial investment right but uh, after uh, 
having a control over other company we need to prepare consolidation as well so we need to prepare the consolidated profit or loss but uh, uh, and we need to prepare the consolidated profit or loss where we will add each line item one by one but as only four month is remaining right so in the year end so we will only take four month income and expense of both whole sales both whole income and expense and profit while preparing the consolidated statement of profit or loss okay so you need to write this point as well okay and one more thing that you need to write is that uh, we will show nci percentage of profit in our consolidated profit and loss in the below that thing you also need to explain so this is the roughly guideline that i have been uh, just gone through to this question and explain in this video so still if you are unclear do let me know i will uh, try to explain again in easy way or in case you have been uh, understood the all these thing try to uh, draft the answer in your own language and get it checked uh, by me i will be available on each of the social media id and the link of the same are given in the description box so guys thank you so much for watching my video and have a good day and in case of you are having any question query do let me know i will try my best to solve it so thank you so much guys have a good day